So this is the new 13.4 inch infotainment system from GM. This will be found on all the new 2022 trucks, whether it's Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra, you will find this infotainment system. Now moving on, as soon as you start your vehicle, this is the screen that will pop up and this is your music screen. You can do, you can change the channels, you can um, rewind, fast forward. Um, and of course up here, you can change your uh, input, whether you want the AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, podcast, Google News, or your USB. Going back to it, Sirius XM, here you have your um, music art. Down here we can change your genres, depending on what you're looking for in Sirius XM. Um, once you do find a Sirius XM channel that you do like, you can hold to set down here. You'll hold it for about three seconds. That will set it. You can set about 10 presets, five and five. Of course, your music genres, whether it's sports, you can go to sports as well, news or talk, of course. And that will be done. You have a kind of a redundant button, but uh, you do have your music icon that will bring up this screen here. On the side, you can go through either it's a clock or your trailering information once a trailer is connected. Jumping back to the home screen here, you have these tiles, you have audio maps, phone, cameras, your Google Assistant, your Play Store, as well as your Android, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Once you swipe over, you're looking at trailer and climate, um, your settings, your hotspot, my GMC podcast, and Google News. Been through the audio, Google Maps. Like I said, my subscription trial has ended, so it won't be giving me any Google Maps. But that's where all of your Google Maps will be in your um, your Google Assistant. Going into your phone settings, you can manage any phones that you do have um, via Bluetooth. And this one does have the 360 degree cameras. So of course you can, you can look at your, your trailer, or sorry, your hitch. Um, you can go right out the front. You have your 360 over here. You can look top down on the front, top down on the rear. You can go through both sides, your front and your back. Hitch view. You have your 360 right here. And of course you do have your, um, these are your trajectory lines when you're looking out the back. You can of course look at those. You do also have a bed camera as well as um, your ability to change the lines. Pretty cool. So getting out of there. You have your Google Assistant now, of course. My trial has ran out, um, so it will just let me know that I need a data plan to do that. Now, this does come with the 4G LTE um, Wi-Fi. So if you do pay for that service, um, you can get that and that will activate your Google Assistant, your Google Maps, everything like that. Moving on to trailering. You will see that, so I do have, I did have a trailer hooked up. Now you guys will see that in the trailering video we have going out, but you can go through everything in there and I'll go over that in the trailering video. You can go to your climate settings. You can turn it on and off. You can go auto, sync, AC, adjust the temperatures um, and where it is blowing. So you have that as well. Nice little feature in there. If you don't wanna use your, uh, you do have your climate control buttons. If you don't want to use those, you can go through uh, the system here. You have all your Wi-Fi hotspot information, as well as your MyGMC podcasts and Google News. Let's see if I will be able to access there. Doesn't look like it, but we'll go through our settings now. You have a plethora of settings in here. You can go through your, your networks, your hotspots, everything like that, connections. Moving on to vehicle. You do have all your teen driver information. Um, so that will allow you to um, set up certain keys and what those keys will allow the driver to do. You have your rear seat reminder. Here's your buckle to drive. 
which I know uh, for a lot of people was a was a thing that they disabled as soon as they got the truck, just because if you're car jockeying, uh, you don't want to always have to buckle uh, buckle that seatbelt. You have your climate and air quality. So when you click on that, you'll have your, your defog and your fan speed. Moving on, you have collision detect detection systems. All of that can be changed in there. Cover and convenience. You have a few different options in there. Your rain sensing wipers, your mirror folding, and the reverse tilt, which actually I find is quite convenient especially in the, in the larger vehicles. You have all of your, uh, your vehicle locator lights. You have your door locks. Things you can do with your key fob here. Remote window. That's where you press and hold the unlock. It'll drop all the windows down. Remote left in vehicle, all the alerts you have right there. You can adjust your seating positions entry and exit and you have your trailering and these are super functional um, if you do tow a lot apps and permissions of course you have that date time settings your display settings you have a, you have uh, you have different users you can add different users sound settings when you are pressing these buttons and your startup and of course your accounts if you did want to add an account privacy settings storage settings um just uh profile security there if you do go into system it'll give you all that uh about information in there and then you do have updates that will uh that you can check for updates and it'll do that to automatically and that'll be it and then you have your Google so these buttons here are just your quick access if you do want your cameras your phone these are quick access buttons to get you there and you can move these tiles so let's say I want my Wi-Fi hotspot if I want my high Wi-Fi hotspot to be a, um, a quick button you'll just drag it and you'll let's say I want it for my music and there you go. So your high, your Wi-Fi hotspot is now where your camera, uh, where your music was. Sorry, and you can just drag these tiles anywhere you like. You just press and hold, and you can just drag them if you do want to replace anything there, or change the order. You can drag them and do that. So I'm just gonna move my audio back. But yeah, that is going to be the introduction, full overview walker uh, walkthrough of the new 2022 um, trucks infotainment system and guys this is the 13.4 inch uh, system and that was the complete walkthrough of it if you guys do want if you guys do have any comments any questions or anything like that drop them in the comment section i'll do my best to answer them and if i missed anything let me know drop a thumbs up if this video helped you um, guys subscribe if you are new to the channel we have a lot more videos coming whether it's it's tutorials um, stuff on our vehicles everything we've got tons of content coming for you guys stay tuned for that and guys if you did um, enjoy the video please leave a like it does really help us and subscribe to the channel if you are new and guys we'll see you in the next one